Hello, Virgo. Let me put this down a little bit. Arr. This is your reading. It's a bonus reading for Virgo. Five card spread and clarifiers. And remember when I use up the clarifiers, you can change up the story. But this is for Virgo. And it, and it starts now or in the future. Whatever you, Whenever you see this reading, this is for Virgo. Five card spread. And at the end, I may, you know, clip on uh, a past life reading, current love reading, where you can choose a card from, and your um, life purpose. So, and it'll be diff three different sections. It's not going to be all the same. But this is a five card spread bonus reading. Energies coming in for Virgo. Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, hopefully positive energies for Virgo. Let's see what we got here. In the past, there's, there's a, uh, something that needs, that's not completed. Something you need to complete or you were trying to complete in the past with the Four of Wands. Could have to do with your family. Obstacle is anxiety. Someone's having trouble sleeping. Someone is feeling real nervous. Someone is feeling like, um, like I said, that you're having nightmares. They can't sleep at night with the Nine of Swords. Current environment, you feel like there's not enough. Maybe you haven't achieved your overall wealth. It hasn't finished yet. You haven't reached your goal with the Ten of Pentacles. What is coming towards you? Is a night, a night of this. This could be, and you know, it's an outside energy. What is coming towards you? So stability can be coming towards you, but it's slow. And this is for Virgo, and this is your energy. So it's, I don't think it's you. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, but I'm thinking stability is coming in. Coming in. It is very solid, and what is solid comes in slowly. It doesn't come in overnight usually. It usually stays a while when it does come in. Like I said, some of you could be also dealing with an Earth sign. In the end, you may make a truce with somebody. You got the Four of Swords. You take a break and make a truce in some way, okay? Now, in the past, you got the Four of Wands. It is in reverse. And it's like completion hasn't happened. You're not done with something, or someone's not done with you. So, the Four of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? For Virgo, why are you there? And someone's trying to come out of disappointment, you know? It's not completed. Plus, someone's trying to come out of disappointment with the Five of Cups. I need another card for um, the past position for Virgo. One more card, please. And you're trying to come out of anxiety. The obstacle is you're having difficulty doing so with the Nine of Swords in reverse there. It's the obstacle here. You're still dealing with it You're as an obstacle. So the Nine of Swords in the upright, why are you there for Virgo as the obstacle? Why are you there for Virgo? And you want growth in your life and you feel like it's not there. It's an obstacle for you. Can I get another card? One more card, please, for Virgo. And you're wanting a passionate new beginning in some way. Some of you can be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe that's what's causing your anxiety. And maybe you're wanting growth with this type of person. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be someone that's really passionate and someone who may be young at heart. Your obstacle is um, coming into complete stability. You feel like you haven't reached that yet. You feel like you haven't reached your goals when it comes to money and wealth and security. So the Ten of Pentacles is a current environment for Virgo. Why are you there? Why are you there? It feels like you don't have enough competition coming in where you can work for something with the Five of Wands in reverse. You feel like there's not enough out there for you to, you know, to... Um, Regain prosperity. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands in reverse is a current environment. Why are you there for Virgo? There you are, Princess of Dish, trying to think about your next move and how you become more practical. And it could, again, involve a Wands-type energy. So it is your obstacle, this Wands energy, this Fire-type energy. And you're thinking towards them how... or a fiery type energy of passion. You're trying to figure out how you can regain all this in your life because you feel like the energy is just not there for you to take advantage of it, you know, and go for it. But what it is, it's just a slow energy and you must be patient. So the Knight of Discs is in the upright and it's coming towards you. So it is coming, but you're a little impatient. You're thinking, is this ever going to come in? Will I ever succeed? But it says here you will, okay? So the Knight of Discs in the upright coming towards Virgo. While you're there, I need two cards, please. Two cards, and then we'll do another reading after this, you know. 
past life stuff and future purpose. You feel like abundance isn't coming in, but it is. And some of you may be getting advice from somebody. They're going to tell you about it. It's the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is older. And the Queen of Swords may help you with this situation that is coming towards you where you feel like you're not getting abundance. The Queen of Swords can be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or like I said, someone who is intelligent. Someone people go to it for advice. She's considered the wise queen. Okay, so she is coming towards you. And it has to do with this overall abundance that you feel that you are not getting. It is coming, but it is slow coming. So in the end here, it says take a break from the situation of anxiety. Maybe you need to um, relax a little, go on vacation, or not worry so much. Maybe you need to talk to somebody to where you can relieve your anxieties. Because if you do not do this, you will become ill. When you don't sleep at night and when you have too much anxiety, it takes a toll on your body. And I see that. I feel like some of you are going through this. But realize that it takes patience for things to come in. And they will come in. Just realize that. That it's not all doom and gloom all the time. It just feels that way. But I hear it says to take a break from something. Um, make peace within yourself. Don't cause too much anxiety. If you have to go see somebody and talk to them or go to a friend. The, ace, the queen of swords, I mean. This person could possibly help you. So, the four of swords... Why are you there? For Virgo in the very end. It's a Jupiter card. It's a good card. So if you are to take a break from something, you will succeed. You will. You will be able to manifest what you're wanting. And passion can come back in your life. Or this, you know, this Queen of Wands energy will be there. And to me, as someone who's able to take control, become more passionate, and people like to be around them, and they're able to manifest what they're wanting. It does not have to be a fire sign. You can take on this energy. If you take on this energy, you will feel better. You, if you take on a break and regain your passions, you can manifest what you're wanting. Remember, it will come in slowly, but it will come in slow. You just feel like it's not, and you're, and you're way too much in your head and anxiety of thinking about it. But you need to release that, realize that it will come in and go to the Queen of Swords for advice, but the Queen of Swords will tell you what you need to do. In the end, you will, like I said, take your break, uh, relax, uh, make a truce within yourself and peace within yourself that may involve the Queen of Swords, or like I said, you take on an energy and able to manifest what you're wanting. In the end, you got the Seven of Pentacles where someone comes out of failure. So realize these are just the anxieties. These are things that when someone thinks too much about something, a disappointment that happened, because like I said, you had the Five of Cups in reverse, someone is very disappointed and they're wanting their blessings to come in. And there's a Wands energy, the obstacle. Maybe you're wanting this to come in. Maybe you're having anxiety at the end. But here it says make peace with the Queen of Wands or bring passion into your life when you sit there and put down swords of anxiety and don't let them entertain your life and manifest what you're wanting. And you will realize that the Pentacles energy, the money energy will come in. It'll be slow, but it'll come in. Okay? Now I'm going to do a reading in just a minute. I will click off and I will go back to these cards. This is for Virgo. I'm putting down three cards for your past life energy. And this is the energy you're supposed to learn from and what you're supposed to deal with in this current life. But it's, a past, it's what you were in the past life or what you were doing with your past life. Um, it's something that you also may need to have learned from a past life. So three cards please for Virgo and pick the one you are drawn to. First one, lesson, uh, lessons and blessings. Whatever you um, were doing in the past and whatever you were dealing with, realize even though they may have been hard and hard lessons, they turn out to be a blessing in this life. You learn from it. So whatever is going on, you, you have learned from something, and the blessings you, you got coming in are from the lessons you learned in the past life. Maybe someone messed you over. Maybe you had a divorce. Maybe you lost somebody. Maybe you had trouble with work. But whatever your lessons that you learned in the past will be a blessing in this life. Second card. Mother, some of you were a mother figure or a mother figure was important to you and you will carry it over into this life where you, it'll be important or where you should address it. Maybe there is unfinished with a uh, business with a mother. Maybe um, you are need, needing someone to, um, maybe you have a child or someone that looked up to you that 
thought you as a mother or a parent that you need to address, you know, need to address you. But the mother is very important. You carried over from this past life into this life where it needs to be addressed before. Or if you don't, it will go into your future life. So it's about motherhood. Do you need to um, speak to your mother in some unconscious way in a past energy and has carried on to here? And maybe now you need to resolve it. That's the way I see it. Third card, the father. Some of you are dealing with a father situation where you need to um, reevaluate re or come to terms with a father. Maybe you have problems with them in the past. Maybe they passed on. Maybe they weren't there for you. Maybe um, they weren't the best of fathers, like I said. In this one, you need to clarify that lesson. You can either let go or move forward with it, but it's up to you. For those that go unfinished business with the past life into this life, it will carry on to the next one with the parent. So, lessons and blessings. Dealing with the mother in this one and the father in the past life with the third one. For some of you, you may be dealing with all three of these. Like I said, that you will the lessons in your past life will bring blessings in this life. Okay. Don't don't knock it because some people have you know curses they carry in. You're actually getting blessings. Okay. Now I need three cards for love reading. One card each. For Virgo. Love for Virgo. Could be for November or for whenever you're re watching this. What is love for Virgo, huh? What should you expect in love right now? Pick your card. First card. Letting go of control issues. Maybe you have control issues or someone has control issues with you. You need to let these go so things can prosper so you can get the love you're wanting again. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to over control your partner or a situation that involves them. And of course they should not do this with you. Second wedding some of you may be getting married in the future or maybe you are thinking of a wedding this situation does involve a wedding so maybe you're either going to a wedding or you're getting married okay virgo last card children some of you if you're wanting children they may be coming up or you'll be dealing with them or trying to have children in the future they are they are what you're wanting and they could very well become a reality your love life is being affected by children in some way so they're involved in your love life maybe uh, you'll be involved with someone with children maybe you will have children with a person or maybe you already have children and this person needs to be um, in sync with them so remember the person that you're supposed to be involved with will be a positive effect in some way they should be a positive effect in some way when it involves children now let's see what your life purpose is one card each for Virgo one card each for Virgo life purpose could be for November or on but I'm calling it your life purpose one card each for Virgo, you concentrate on the on the card you want. What is Virgo's life purpose that picks the card that they're supposed to that they're drawn to? Life purpose for Virgo. If you fix it. If you pick this first pile, this is either your life purpose, what you're supposed to be doing with your life, what you're supposed to be feeling about your uh, future life, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, or advice from your angels and what you should be doing. Because this is an um, angel spread, by the way. First one, you pick this, body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, and exercise training. So a lot of you may be working with the body or need to. You may, maybe you're a little, um, feel like you need to become more fit, or some of you may be actually be the one help others become more fit. It does involve, like, kind of like you can be a massage therapist. You can be a, a, a healer, you know, your life purpose. Some of you will be healers, helping people with body image, or, you know, even yourself is regaining your body image. Second card, if you're drawn to it, you're going to be a leader. 
You're going to take charge of situations that kind of went out of control. You're going to be able to um, lead people that need leading. It could be children. It could be, uh, it could be your family, workers, community, I'm feeling, for some of you. Maybe something that you were trying to start within the community that will change a situation. You will become a leader or people will consider you a leader in the future. That's your life purpose. Third, trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So if you're wanting to go into something, go ahead. Trust yourself. Go into it. Don't um, be stagnant. Don't be afraid. If you feel like something is leading you somewhere to your career path or where you need to go, go for it. Okay? That is your career. This is the thing you're, you're supposed to do. This is everything that you need to do. You know, just go and trust it. If, if you feel like something is leading you somewhere and you're having doubts, that little bit of panic fear in your chest, realize it's just panic. Trust yourself, okay? And that's it, Virgo. I'm going to let you upload this and tell me what you think. Should I do these more or should I just never do them again? And I will talk to you later. Bye.